Good morning, everybody. Yes, you guessed it. I'm reclining here. Or maybe it's not morning. What time is it? It's uh, 1554. <laughs> That's what my clock says. I just saw a young lady talking about historical digs, carbon dating, and she says there's two big gaps or big holes in traditional history. Well, Protestantism, Christianity, which in my beliefs and teachings, they're my beliefs and teachings, not the Holy Spirit, not the King James Bible, my beliefs. I'm a conspiracy theorist that's retired. I'll be 80 here in four more months relaxing, taking a power nap on my bed. Just had to put this one out there. Christianity, and I can prove it in the Word of God, has flipped, reversed. I best, the best way I could explain it, the power of a horse pulling is greater when he's in front of the load or the carriage or the wagon loaded down than if you put him behind the wagon and make him push the wagon. If the bat, wagon would still move if you hook a harness up to his chest correctly, but he's designed to pull his legs, his back legs, hook him up, and he'll pull a tremendous load. Therefore, there's a phrase. You put the cart before the horse. You got it backwards. You flipped it. Now, if you intentionally flip something, then you come into Second Peter, the fourth chapter, where Peter gave his stamp of approval to Paul, the apostle, to you and I, the Gentiles. Paul, the apostle. And the wisdom given him, the spiritual wisdom given him, he wrote 14 letters, 66% of the New Testament. Paul did. Luke, a Greek doctor and historian, is running a close second right on his heels. In fact, if Paul did not write Hebrews, Luke wrote more verses of Scripture than Paul. That would bring Paul in across the finish line second. All right, to, to John and to Peter, finishing third and fourth. Now, back to the cart before the horse being flipped or reversed. There are many, many, many scriptures. The name is hidden under Lord in capital letters, not the title Lord, but the sacred name. yod He vav He y h v h is hidden under Lord thousands of times in the Bible. And things are flipped and reversed to make it hard for you to spiritually have understanding, spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge. Therefore, the King James 1611 in the fourth chapter of Peter, W-R-E-S-T, to twist or destroy, uh, distort unto your destruction. Man, to have power over people and great, financial gain from preaching the word rested, twisted, distorted unto their destruction, putting the cart before the horse, putting image before likeness. Likeness is spiritual, invisible. Image is that which is seen, person, human, body, flesh. There's only one person in the Godhead, and spirit before word spoken or written as likeness invisible spirit is before image or seen. There's been a whole lot of flipping, reversing to keep man in subjection under the thumb of Catholic Christianity, Protestantism, a thousand denominations 
and every TV evangelist getting rich in the millions, multi-millions, 80 million to a hundred million dollars a year. And that's the truth before I fall asleep here and my rock and roll power nap. <laughs> the truth. <laughs>